I always love that about Arc System Works games. Most of them are like that, or a lot of them are like that. Yo, know, Jay Wills was saying, uh, I'm starting to do stream journey and it's hard to keep an audience. How do you feel, deal with the feeling of no one watching when you first start streaming? Um, I haven't been in that situation because I streamed after I did YouTube, right? So I already established an audience. But um, I think you have to like think of like expectations, right? Are you expecting to get an audience or are you just doing something because it's fun, you know? Um, and you say stream journey as in, you know, there's like a goal in mind, and I, I honestly wouldn't do that. Would not stream with like a goal in mind if you're just starting, right? If you're just starting, don't don't look at this as something that's going to like escalate you into a new career or something like that. You can't treat it that way. You'll just you'll just end up disappointing yourself. Do not do not make it your employment. Do not give up the rest of your, you know, hobbies and career for streaming. Just do it because you enjoy it. And you'll find other people that that enjoy the same things you do, <clears throat> you know. But yeah, my, my my biggest advice is to not go ham. A lot of people do that, where they just like go full send, you know. And it is very hard, right? And it wasn't even even back then when I started ten years ago. It was still hard for a lot of people, you know. I still follow several folks that started their stream careers and stuff and YouTube careers and they just never went anywhere, right? Even though they were making videos like crazy. So you just have to, you know, you just have to approach it that way. You have to have a different mentality about it. I mean, there's, uh, it's everything. It's, it's, it's just like the industry. It's like, it's luck, it's talent, it's relatability, it's who you know, you know? It's, it's, it's all the same shit that happens to... <clears throat> and we'll talk about this during our 10th stream anniversary. I think, I think questions like this are great. Um, <clears throat> it's just... It's the exact same thing as the film industry. My, 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 my mom is an acting teacher, right? So she deals with this all the time. Of just, like, people that obviously have good talent and stuff like that, but they're just not in the right place at the right time. Recognizing opportunities, all that kind of shit. You know? It's just... It's, it's the exact same thing as the film industry except you don't have like agents and talent managers and you don't have to go through that whole process you just like try to go at it and see if stars align <clears throat> and if you're a relatable person you know people will show up you gotta understand like nowadays there's so many nowadays there is so many people covering every type of genre of every type of game that most will not be interested in the game itself because there is just a ton of options there's a billion options people are going to be interested in you so, you know, it's just, it's just growing that audience, people that are interested in the same stuff you are. Ignore the trolls. I'm absolutely trying to do my best with that. Okay. This is hilarious. Here's one. Stop begging. I know you don't think you are, but you are. Mention how people can contribute if they choose to only once in an entire stream. Only at the beginning of the stream. Leave it alone. Don't ever bring up goals. Don't ask for any contributions. Don't hint about it either. Because when you watch a television show, they only ever mention products at the very beginning. And then you just get uninterrupted content the entire television show, right? <laughs> right? When you, you know, when you're watching a five-hour broadcast, you're expected to be there the moment the show starts to know how you can support that broadcast, right? And if you're not, and you miss out on that, oh, well, I guess I'm boned that you weren't there in the very first minute that you were there on the podcast. If the person had said, reduce the amount that you ask for contributions, I would have been like, okay, let's talk about that. Let's talk about balance. Let's talk about finding the happy medium, right? Let's figure that out. But literally, this person goes right to the extreme, right? No, you never can bring it up. Never can you do anything. What? Okay, how about this? Get rid of tiered goals. No one cares if you're going to put on a gunner glasses or a hat. 
Instead, do a goal along these lines. All right, let's see what this suggestion is. Maybe this is a good one. $100 in tips if you get in an... Wait. $100 in tips in an hour will get you an extra hour of streaming. How many times have I explained to you guys that I'm not a 20-year-old guy, I'm not single, I don't sit around at home all day with nothing to do, all right? This is my job, which I'm very dedicated to, and I spend the majority of my day doing. I spend far more time in this office streaming and uploading and working than I do with my family, all right? As it is, on any given day, I probably get to see my wife two hours, if that. In a 24-hour day, I see my wife for like two hours, and maybe every once in a while around the house in between, but we get about two hours to spend together in a given day. I get one day a week that I'm supposed to be spending off of streaming. Guess what I do? Grocery shopping, going to get a pet supplies, going to the doctor, going to an appointment or a legal appointment, right? seeing lawyers, all this shit, all this shit that I've always had to do, I have to do on my one day off a week, all right? So now what you want me to do is abolish the goals that are silly and easy to do, you know, toss on some glasses or put on a hat of your choice to be a little silly with my audience. And instead of doing things that are reasonable, because there are things that I could do within the confines of the insane amount of time that I'm already working streaming, you want me to take away even more of the time that I, the little time that I have with my family, okay? The definition of what you just said is called entitlement. It's called that because you think that you've contributed to a stream that you can now can dominate my entire life. Now again, when I was younger, I sat around and I made gameplay videos sometimes for 14 to 16 hours a day. I would pump out a game within two days. All right, that was unhealthy. I was not happy. I was fat. I was drunk. I was stupid. I was a workaholic. I had no work-life balance at all. Maybe because you are an entitled viewer, you think that that's a valid like like request. It is. If it's someone who's young and they're willing to give up all of their personal time and efforts for their work. I'm 41 years old and I have a family life now. I have a responsibility to my family to actually spend time with them to keep a household running. This suggestion is incredibly ludicrous. It's so unreasonable that I'm actually now going to skip the rest of your suggestions because the first two ones were incredibly stupid. Wow. Let's continue. <laughs> I mean, wow. That's really impressive stuff right there. I'm really glad that we're going through these. 